Hi there, this is Homeschooling with a Smile, and today I'm going to give you a sneak peek inside what we decided to go with for our first grade math curriculum. We purchased the Saxton Math Homeschool First Grade Study Kit. This kit includes a home study teacher's manual, a student workbook part one, and a student workbook part two, a student meeting book, and some math fact cards. We purchased this from rainbowresources.com. Now this is just our personal opinion of this curriculum. No one has paid us to make this review. Um, this is just what we decided to go with for the 2017-2018 homeschool year. Now this kit was purchased um, for, I want to say about $100. Um, also, we purchased a manipulative set. I don't have that with me today to show you, but if you're interested in seeing what came inside the manipulative set kit, just leave me a message below and I'll try to make a separate um, video just for that. Now when we were on the website, I looked for specifically Saxton Math uh, manipulative set. They did not have it, but what they did do was Rainbow Resources um, puts a kit together for you. Now based on what kind of math you buy, they put a kit specifically for that math curriculum. Now they do their homework. They figure out everything you're going to need for your 130 lessons, which Saxton Math Homeschool One has. It's a lot of lessons. Um, and they put everything together for you. You can buy packages that have just the right amount of things that you need. And then you can also buy ones that have some extras. It's up to you. Our set, I believe, cost around Forty to fifty dollars and it comes with um, just the right amount of things that we need. Um, so a little bit more about what this curriculum is like. Um, like I said there's a hundred and thirty lessons. This is considered a spiral program. That just means that there's continual practice and review throughout the lessons. So every lesson you learn something new by the second lesson, you're reviewing a little bit of what you learned previous, and then you're moving on. And it goes on like that for 130 lessons. Um, there's a ton of different skills that are incorporated in this curriculum. There's time, temperature, money, counting, patterning, problem solving, and the list goes on. Now, um, what you receive with this is this teacher's manual. Now this teacher's manual has 703 pages. It is very, very hefty, but it goes very quickly. And when I show you what the lessons are inside and how it's laid out, you'll see that it's really not that big of a deal that it's, it's this big. Here is the um, home study meeting book, the student workbook part one, and the student workbook part two. And here's the perforated math fact sheets that you're going to be using. Um, you just tear them out when you're ready to use them. There's addition, subtraction, I believe there's uh, multiplication. I don't think it goes into division, but I could be wrong. I haven't opened the packet yet, so I'm not too clear on that. So let me just give you a peek inside what the teacher's um, guide looks like. So it just gives you a quick overview. Then it goes into um, the table of contents. Oh, let me backtrack, sorry. Um, this page just talks to you about um, manipulative materials that you're going to need for certain lessons. Some things that um, you just have around the house and then other things that you're going to need to buy in some sort of a kit. The table of contents goes through all the lessons. Like I said, there's 130 lessons and assessments. Not 130 assessments, but there's assessments in the book. List of materials and when you're going to use them. For example, lesson one, you're using the meeting book and the meeting strips um, that I'll show you are in um, 
the meeting book. You have to cut them out of there. And then uh, as you look over here to lesson 14, you see you need the geo boards. Um, and that's something that I received in my kit. Other things like pennies, those things you have to gather up, um, you know, from around the house or get out your wallet and count some pennies out or your kid's piggy bank. You can use them from there. However you decide to get those um, materials. So it goes through all the lessons and there's a list of what you need. Oh, okay, so here's the meeting strips. Sorry, I thought they were in the meeting book, but they're actually in here. These are the meeting strips that the, um, the lesson requires, the first lesson. Okay, so now we're into the first lesson. It tells you the preparation. So there's the materials you're going to need. Um, how you should prepare the night before if you choose to. In the morning, what you're going to do. This is a very scripted math curriculum, which is really good. Um, if math isn't particularly your strong suit, um, you don't really have to worry. This tells you exactly what to do, uh, what to say, answers that the students should be giving you, and um, it's really, really easy. Then it goes right into lesson two. So for lesson one, um, it says to get out the um, home study meeting book, which is this, and I'll just give you a quick peek inside what it looks like. Now my children are going to be doing morning work that consists of um, the calendar, the date, the month, things like that, all that sort of thing, and a little bit of math in it as well, but this is just going to be extra. Um, so. We'll use it as much as we can, but I know that um, it's going to become pretty redundant after a while. We'll s especially use it for the first lesson, but after that we'll see how it goes. But again, you can decide how you use it. So it starts off with the August calendar, and then you're going to get the, um, the graph. So sunny, cloudy, rainy, and um, snowy, and this is graphing. Then you're going to have a Draw Illustrate page for the fall. Then it goes to the September calendar, same thing, weather chart, some shapes, October calendar, weather chart, shapes again, November, weather chart, draw illustrate, December, and it goes on and on like this until you get to June. In April, um, it goes over the months. So once you get to June and you finish up that weather chart, then you have this um, number chart while well, the student will fill in all the numbers. And then the back just has some counting strips and a 1 to 100 chart. So that's it for the meeting book. I'll quickly show you um, the workbook. So this is part one of the workbook. It comes in two parts. So part one. And this one is part two. So they do recommend that you not give the student their entire workbook. Um, this is only because um, kids can sometimes work through the book um, beforehand. But the most important, I think, reason for not giving the student the entire book is that um, they can easily lose the pages. So it's recommended that you just give the student on um, the page for that lesson and then they can keep it in a binder and they just take it out when you're working on it. Um, it's also nice if you have more than one child who you're gonna be using this curriculum with, you can copy the pages. Um, and it's pretty easy to tear out of the book. I'll show you. Um, let's see here. Just perforated up there and there's even, um, it's already hole punched if you wanna put it in a binder. So anyway, here is the book. It's a flip top, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you in the video, but I'll do my best. Um, the first couple of pages um, just gives you some um, homework recording forms if you can use if you need to. Um, some assessments. and the materials you're going to be using for the assessments when you do them. Um, there's a Dear Parent letter. 
and then it goes right into uh, the lesson. This one is lesson two because, like I said, the first lesson we were using the meeting book. So by the second lesson, you're doing um, some patterning. Yep. And pretty much work through it like that. This is where you need to do some weights. So you need a balance. Um, overall, it looks really really good and I'm excited to start it. Um, there's one last thing I want to show you and that is the um, the cards. This is what the card pack looks like. Um, the math fact cards. I haven't even gone through it. I haven't opened it but um, yeah they're perforated and you just tear them out when it says it's time to have them torn out and there's um, subtraction, addition, there's a spot for your child to write in and just, um, I think it comes in different colors, I think green, yellow cards, um, so easy to keep track of, but I haven't had time to really take them out yet. So anyway, I hope this review was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions and um, you would like me to review this more in depth, please let me know. And again, if you'd like to see the manipulative kit set that we received um, through rainbowresource.com, please comment down below and I'll be sure to share that with you. Thanks for watching.